You know, a lot of writers are not allowed by the director to come on the set because the director feels, uh, he feels uh, challenged. He feels as if uh, somehow it erodes his authority. Uh, I always made it an absolute rule to talk with the director of the movie that I, uh, Michael and I had written. And, and uh, we would read, the, read it together. If he had suggestions and they were good, I always embraced them. If they were rotten, I, I told him that. Uh, we fought it out. But I always had a good relationship, and I, I went on the set. I also knew that once you're on the set, you don't get in the way of the director. You can be a great help to the director. And I felt I was, because if he needed something, I was there. I could rewrite, because you do have to change. You find that a lot, not a lot, but some things don't work. And if the writer is there, it's very good. But, uh, but you still have to know that the director is in charge and not at all question that. So I got on very well with directors, and I was on the set. And most of the time, as I say, I was valuable. I remember one time when I was on the set of uh, Hustling, and um, uh, our director, Joe, oh, isn't that terrible? Well, Joe, terrific director, uh, and he, uh, he set up the first couple of shots. As you know, it was about street girls. And the scene was on the sidewalk. And he set the camera up across the street on the other sidewalk and with all the traffic going in between. And I thought, what is this? They're not going to hear my dialogue. Oh, my goodness. But I didn't say a word. I didn't, didn't interfere. And then I went to see a few dailies, and I realized that Joe had known what I, as a writer, probably wasn't conscious of, that the street was as much a character in the piece as the actors, and that I could lose a few pearls of dialogue for that. So in that case, uh, even though I was on the set, I learned from the director. It was good. Joe Sargent. Oh, thank goodness I remember his name because he's a big favorite of mine. <laughs>